Hey, hey, what up, man? It's your man, Vada Fly, man. Fly Report. Salute to the subscribers. Notification gang. You already know what time it is, man. Make sure you subscribe and jump in them comments and leave your thoughts at the end of this video. So check this out, man. Jay Mills. Jay Mills has lost his fucking mind to me. Um, him and Queens Flip is going back and forth. I dropped a couple videos the other day. One about the murder mook as far as Smack being the nigga with the camera. And, um... I got a lot of comments, a lot of big views about it, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't think it would pretty much go further and further, but now it is going even further. Jay Mills, Queens Flip, going back and forth on Instagram. And this is what Jay Mills said. Queens Flip, Smack was a fucking nobody. Why are you doing this? So now, you was watching Smack since the beginning of the time. Fuck out of here. If there was... Never a big in my trouble or what line. I never introduced him to Diddy. Then Smack never gets Puff on his DVD. That means he never puts his name on the cover. Which means there is no J. Mills vs. Murder Mook battle. That wasn't even for Smack DVD if you want to keep it real. Shout out to Rel Mac, Uptown, Lennox, 142nd Street. Then he says, Queens Flip. Oh, did I tell you that when I stopped battling, Smack used to call me and beg me to get other people to battle because he said he could no longer put out the DVDs with a battle at the end. All facts. Laugh my ass off. I made Smack. I never made a dollar with him or off him. You keep talking about that dip set footage. LOL. That probably was one of the only hint you remembered from that DVD. Because it damn sure ain't have no battle on there at the time. But three months later, every DVD after that, the last chapter, damn sure was created by Father Millsy. Then he said, Queen's Flip said, first Harlem nigga, first, a Harlem nigga can never make a Queen's nigga. Second, I promoted your album store in my stores. Check it out. Third, you basically saying, Rel Max, salute to him and all he do, got deaded on that battle. And Jay Mills said, nah, I'm basically saying, Jay Mills made smack. Facts, 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 pretty much. Man, man, listen, Jay Mills, I, I get that you battled on smack. I get you was the first person to have a battle on there with Sire Castro. And I know the murder moot battle happened, man, but... Get out your feelings, my nigga. Like, Smack is on another level right now, my nigga. You signed with Young Money. You was on Bedrock 2010, my nigga. Wayne ain't never put your shit out. No album drop. Fucking Drake took off. Nicki Minaj took off. Wayne did his thing. Even fucking Tiger did his thing, my nigga. You got to get out this bullshit, yo. Like, it just didn't happen for you. And it is what it is. But to say that you made smack my nigga, look. All right. If you got a bunch of people that's in a situation and one person takes their craft and hones it and goes to another level, if another nigga that was involved with that shit, if his shit don't take off or if he go another route and y'all don't get money together... It, you, it can't be incumbent upon you to be like, if it wasn't for you, there would be no him. This that same shit that Damon Dash tried to pull with Jay-Z. I see you. Man, shout out to Harlem, man. But y'all niggas be trying to do that slick shit. You trying to say, if it wasn't for you, there would be no him. Man, listen, there's, there's a lot of different scenarios where a nigga can say, if it wasn't for me, there wouldn't be no you. Like when people tried to throw dirt on Mook last week, Mook came out and said respectfully where he stood in it as far as... um. Him battling on the Smack DVDs, but he didn't go out and try to overly disrespect the man and say, I made another nigga. Like, that shit is, like, low-key disrespectful. I ain't even gonna hold you. But anyway, I'm not gonna drag this shit out longer than you need to be. What do y'all think? I mean, Jay Mills is basically saying he made Smack. Y'all niggas jump in the comments and let me know what you think. Just because a nigga battled on DVD first and might have put him into a couple connections and got P. Diddy on a DVD. He's basically trying to say he made another man that he hasn't been doing business with since fucking 2005. I think that's kind of delusional. Other than that, it's your man Vada Fly, man. Keep up with what I got going on by jumping in the comments and hitting subscribe. Other than that, I'm out.